hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to configure or how to use access when rule in pega access when rule in pega so <clears throat> so i log in into the dev studio by default my operator id by default my operator id having one access group this is my access group sbi apple colon others now this access group is having some n number of access rules access rules uh, i don't want to explain about what is access group what is access rule etc because already access group is required to map a particular operator to provide an access to the particular application because without access group there is no accessibility to the application to the operator so the access group will act as a mediator between the operator and the application ultimately so access group is a very very important With, without access group there is no accessibility first there is no accessibility access group contains a number of access roles so this is a one access role and this is one access role so access role contains access role contains access role to objects that means in pega each and everything is an object that is nothing but each and everything is a class so okay now if you want to provide or if you want to manage accessibility to a particular class or a particular object object or a class okay if you want to manage accessibility to a particular object uh, how can you achieve that uh, you can achieve by using the only access role to object only see this one by using access role to object for example this is a one class class is nothing but uh, an instance class is nothing but because by default this class is having one instance so this access or see the naming convention see this one access role to object so if you want to restrict or if you want to allow totally if you want to manage an accessibility to a particular class instances particular class instances how can you achieve that because there is a requirement you want to allow this operator to create an instance i want to allow this operator to create an instance remaining operators i don't want to allow to create an instance how do you achieve this requirement how do you achieve this requirement so you can sim you can easily achieve by using this access role to object configuration you can easily achieve by using the access role to object for example uh, i have a one class i have a one class my class name is um, see this one <clears throat> i have a class education so when i click on education i am going to create a one work object to the education now my requirement is i want to allow only one operator can create an instance i want to allow only one specific operator can a, can create an instance okay how do you achieve this one so for example open an education case save and run now the work object is created right now the new work object is created so what is my operator id my operator id is admin2 so i want to allow only admin to can create a work object to this education case type i don't want to allow the remaining operators then how can you achieve this one so i can achieve by using the access role to object for example this is my operator id my operator id is mapped to this access group this access group is having the 
this access roles in this access role what i am doing is, so just add because you are restricting the, the what is the requirement i want to allow only one operator to create an instances i don't want to allow the remaining operators so that means in your class level in your class level you are restricting so how can you achieve that one by using the access role to object access role to object itself is uh, managing the accessibility to your particular class instances particular class instances now i am doing sbi what is my class education right i am adding this class first education okay so access controls access controls so enter 0 to prohibit all access enter a value 1 to between to provide an access why because we have a 0 to 5 0 is denying an access 1 is granting an access to sandbox environment 2 dev environment 3 test 4 stage 5 qa now what i am doing is read instances delete instances read rules delete rules and execute reports 5 execute activities 5 write rules 5 that means um, i am allowing i am allowing all the operators i am allowing all the operators to read the instances of this class to delete the instances of this class to read the rules of this class to write the rules of this class but my requirement is i want to allow only one operator can create an instance creating an instance means writing an instance so here i cannot give it as a 5 or 4 3 2 1 etc i want to put a condition what is my condition only admin 2 can able to create education case type i don't want to allow the remaining operators so verify i am creating my own when rule because uh, i am creating a one when rule to verify that condition verify op r operator click on this one instead of providing a number like instead of providing the 0 to 5 values i want to provide a condition so how can you what is that condition this is called it as a access when rule it's a different with normal when rule i mean to say it seems like a when rule it looks like a when rule but the convention naming convention is access when rule but the name is access when rule but normal when rule and access when rule both are when rule but when you are when you are configuring or when you are calling your when rule from the access role to object uh, then that would become a access when rule okay now verify operator so now the my requirement is uh, add a condition here px px requester dot py user identifier equal to admin2 right so what is the operator id only i am allowing admin2 admin2 save if you want you can just mention the uh, px requester or not required no problem now let's say save you can mention the pages and classes here px requester belongs to which class code requester px requester belongs to which class code requester if just see the clipboard go to the system pages in the system pages you can see the px requester yeah code pega requester okay now what i am doing i am going to create to come back to here now verify operator because i am not providing 5 uh, the value 5 if i give it as a value 5 all the operators can create an instances up to the production up to the production now click on save save check in so in this way you can restrict by using the conditions you cannot you no need to provide it as a 0 to 5 value you can also define a condition on the access role to object so how can you achieve that one by using the access when rule in pega so now you can see now what now this condition is describing 
now this condition is describing only admin 2 can create an instances in all the environments like dev, test, stage, QA, etc. production because I did not provide any uh, number from 0 to 5 because I have given a condition. This is the when rule name. What is that when rule name? Access when rule. Okay. Now let's test this one. Where is this education case type? This is the education case type. Sorry. Okay. This one. Click on save and run. Okay, now uh, work object created for education case type. What is that? E4002. Now just log off. Now you can try with the another operator whether he can able to create or not. Go to the case type. Education. Save and run. See, you are not authorized to create or modify or lock an instance of SBI home loan work E4003 because you are not authorized to create an instance of this class. So by using this access when rule, by using this access when rule, you can restrict, you can restrict or you can define the conditions also. You can define the conditions by using the access when rule. Because this is the access group, this access group contains access roles because ultimately access role to object plays a key role in the accessibility of your class instances because totally access role to object is controlling, controlling the accessibility. That means it is restricting, it is restricting, okay, you cannot access this one, you can access this one. Only access role to object and privileges, privileges restricting the users are uh, restricting the operators okay restricting the operators to access a particular rule or to access a particular instances see this one by default this access group is having these three roles okay i agree but in these roles also in these roles also see this one sysadmin is a one access role but access role is just a name but the access role inside the access role there is access role to object here in the access role to object level we are restricting so actually i have defined my actually i have defined my own class because if you want you can add your classes as well so in which class level you are restricting in which class level you are restricting why because this is the class instance size access role to object object is nothing but a it is a physical representation of a class ultimately without a class there is no object remember this without a class there is no object that's why i am restricting in my class level so only if the condition is satisfied then they can only create the instances because that, that is the condition i kept it here similarly if you want you can verify also because there are a lot of built-in classes which are having this access when rules so see this one data admin operator id for example data admin operator id uh, can you click on this operator id class instances write instances pj modify allowed delete instances pj modify allowed open this because even they kept it also condition if the condition is satisfied to write an instances that means to create a new operator or to delete an operator you must satisfy this condition what is this condition? See, first one is A, R, okay, A, R, B, and again, etc., etc. First, we will see A, R. What they have defined? Have a role. Have a role. Pega rules colon sysadmin 5. Pega rules colon sysadmin 5. R. Next condition is B, can edit this operator b and not c or d or e or f or g so if any one of the see even py user identifier equal to administrator the rate of pega.com py user identifier equal to administrator the rate of pega.com not 
so like this uh, you can define whatever the conditions you want you can restrict you can restrict by using the when rule that when rule we call it as a access when rule in pega so finally access when rule is also one type of when rule which is used to define the conditions on the access role to object to define the conditions to define the conditions based on the condition only these write instances delete instances etc okay can be executed so i hope you understand what is the use of access when rule in pega